It's that time of day again where we've got to take the doggies for a walk, yeah. But also, I want to talk about James Dyson. You know James Dyson, the geezer, the, well, the vacuum cleaners. He's also a Brexiter. Lovely guy. Well, he's, he's a bit of a fool, if you ask me. He really is. What a flipping moron, <laughs> what he's been saying recently. I just... Oh, I don't know what it is with these Brexiter type people. Why, why is it? They just kind of say things that are... Well, they're literally oxymorons. Yeah, that's it, oxymorons. Well, just yesterday, Dyson had the audacity to criticise oh, our very precious Richie Sunag in his half-mast trousers. Yeah. <laughs> because Richie Sunak's pledge of making the UK, well... A tech superpower. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, we'll get into that in a moment. Let's, let's let the dogs out because they want, they, go, they want to go for a walk. There they are. There's a Wally, a Sebastian and a Pandora. They're all waiting patiently. Ain't they good? Well, sometimes. Well, so there we go. Through the magic gate. Oh, oh. <laughs> Past the uh, gargoyle letterbox. You've got to have a gargoyle letterbox. Everybody should have a gargoyle letterbox. But they should. First thing the dogs want to do is find something to pee up. Because they're dogs. Well, James Dyson, he voted to leave the European Union. Hmm. Yeah, OK. Oh, God. He doesn't accept the fact, does he? That, 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 because he voted to leave the European Union, it's made it, well, a lot of... A very attractive place to be. No. Britain's as attractive, really, as entering a room that happens to have a skunk in it, if you ask me. Well, yes, another Brexit numpty. They call themselves Brexiters. I don't like calling them Brexiters because, quite frankly, they're no heroes. No. They're not the three musketeers, are they? No. <laughs> not at all. Or was it four in the end? I think so. Anyways, another story. So yes, another Brexit numpty, who's Brexit, that was supposed to make him richer. Remember that, him, richer. Well, quite frankly, it's backfired on him, isn't it? Yeah. And he ain't happy. No. Now, Brexit has uh, blocked skilled engineers. Not only that, they're leaving in flipping droves, they are. Yeah. Remember the Galileo project? You know, the satellites and stuff. The European satellite system for which... The UK got blocked from after already spending huge amounts of money. Yeah, great, isn't it? We dropped out of it, didn't we? Well, all those engineers for Galileo, well, they'd have been left in droves to the EU. Now, this is not just an isolated issue, no. Since these are uh, tech uh, research and development industries, well, once profitable in the UK, well, well, they're advanced tech work placements. You know, places where students could go and study, do work placements and what have you. And in many cases, these places actually took youngsters on to actually train them up in these industries. We've already got a brain drain. We don't need to have a situation where we're not, not making them anymore. You know, it's just crazy. Well, the UK tech sector, well, is shrinking as a result. Now, how are we going to train all the um, future techies without the ability to have somewhere where we can send them to do work placements? Just changing hands because my hat, my, oh yeah, just a second. There you go, back in. <laughs> because um, we've got nowhere to actually put them. No, how, how are we going to train them up? And uh, a lack of hardy skilled individuals is going to fuel inflation further. And why would anyone invest in the United Kingdom anyway, when you don't have the means to progress? <laughs> For God's sake, we can't even get enough flipping um, fruit biggers. How the hell are we going to get boffins? <laughs> oh, oh, it just seems such madness. I just bang my head against the wall, I really do. It just doesn't make any sense. But, um, do you know what really grinds my gears? is that James Dyson conveniently fails to mention that since he himself was one of the most vocal uh, supporters of Brexit 
Yeah. Like we have a spoons geezer. Tim Martin. Pop the bing. Yeah. Well, he can't admit that he's had a bit of a brain fart. No, neither of them, to be fair. That's, you know, and vote to come out of the European Union. It's just madness. Well, that's right. The man who now complains about Brexit blocking skilled engineers was one of the chief architects of the very same Brexit that caused the problem in the flipping first place. What an absolute oxymoron. Well, like I said, moron. Well, Dyson, James Dyson's hypocrisy is rather breathtaking. Now, he championed... Um, Brexit as a means of sort of cutting ties with, you know, Europe and what have you. And, that he, and but he did not know it would lead to significant shortage of skilled engineers. I just find that really hard to believe. Was it on purpose? I don't, I don't know. It's like sadomasochism, I can't even say it now, but you know what I mean. Yeah. And now, when faced with the consequences of his own actions, he has the nerve to shift the blame away from himself. Sounds like a Tory trait, if you ask me. That's what they're doing at the moment, the Tories. They don't blame everybody else. What's even worse is that well, James Dyson seems to think they can get away with it. Now, he's sitting pretty, isn't he? Sitting pretty in his luxurious mansion, surrounded by the fruits of his own successes. While ordinary folk, you know, are struggling in this cost of living crisis. I find it hard to make ends meet post-Brexit. Now, he doesn't care about that, does he? He doesn't care about the impact of his actions on real people's lives. Do you know why? He's a flipping dick. Sorry, I just say it as I see it. What do you think of James Dyson? Call him whatever you like. Leave it in the comments down below. Blimey. These people. They're just... Whoa, what can I say? Well, I just did, didn't I? <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. And, uh, well, oh no, I'll tell you what, we need to give the doggies a treat. Because uh, they've been very patient. You know, well, they haven't actually been that bothered, to be fair. There you go. Oh, there's our Pandora. Oh, yes, that's a good girl. Oh, now Sebastian. And the Wally is too busy over here to come and get his treat. What are they like, these dogs, eh? Hey, you want to know what's Wally's? There he comes. Come on, boy. That's Wally's. That's Wally's tree. Hey, old fella. That's a good boy. Well, if you'd be most kind and click like and subscribe, and maybe that little bell icon, because then you'll get a warm, fuzzy feeling in your pocket every time I upload another video. Or maybe not. I think Wally's got the wrong idea. Yeah, he's firing blanks. I don't know what he's trying. Oh, whatever. Anyway, I just thought I'd take you on a nice trip. You know, and do a bit of dogging. <laughs> yes, I said, oh dear. Oh, well, time to go. Anyway, don't forget to boop the old like button. <laughs> Probably won't, though. We're gone by now. Oh, well. Ta-ta.